Assalamu alaikum, it's Tim here from Urban Dunia and welcome back to this, the last episode of Sydney Explorer for this series. Uh, today I'm coming to you from Balmain, the Sydney suburb in the inner west which has gone from rags to riches in the past 30 years. We are going to start, as we always do, with a cup of coffee and a bit of breakfast. And for that, we are heading to Victoire Boulangerie, which is in a van that parks up in the heart of Balmain every morning. People who know me well know that one of the many ways to my heart is through French bakery items. And this croissant is really something special. And now it is time to get some coffee, some of Belmain's best coffee at Contessa. The area now known as Balmain was developed as a suburb in the 1840s and over the years earned a reputation as a tough working class district close to the city centre. The main street, Dowling Street, is filled with old buildings from that era, including the old town hall. One of the things that I really like about Balmain, and I know that it's one of the things that the people who live here really cherish, is the sense of community. Um, we are just across the water, just a couple of kilometers from Australia's largest city, and yet it sort of feels like a village within the city. I mean, we talk about the concept of an urban village, but um, here it seems to have just happened um, so close to the center of Sydney. One place where you can really catch that vibe is the Balmain Markets, held in the grounds of St. Andrew's Church church on Saturday mornings. Darling Street is also a place to go shopping. It's full of eclectic shops, like this place with the great wall of sewing machines. There are also lots of startup designer stores. Some of Australia's biggest brands have started live as collections on Darling Street, Balmain. So the weather seriously is not cooperating with me today, as you could probably guess, but it seems to be clearing up a bit. So I think I might just hang here for a couple of hours and then soon I'll be taking you for lunch. In the meantime, we can head out of Balmain, further west to Leichhardt, once the centre of Sydney's Italian community, although the Italian Forum's days as a vibrant cultural quarter are sadly long since past. If you're in the area though, I'd highly recommend a stop past Mezzapica Cakes for a Panzerotti. These are the guys who used to supply the Panzerotti Cafe at Wynyard Station, which we visited a few weeks ago. Leichhardt is also where you'll find the Café Bones, one of Sydney's first dog cafes. And then it started pouring with rain. 
Well, the weather that day did not get any better. In fact, it got a whole lot worse. But I'm back here now in Balmain and I'm picking up where I left off on a different day. And it is time to start the, this afternoon with a spot of lunch. We're having lunch at the Riverview Hotel, then heading to the lovely Elkington Park from where we can get a view of the Don Fraser Baths, which are currently closed for renovation. We're now walking around the edge of Balmain Peninsula through the picturesque waterfront suburb of Birch Grove. From Birch Grove, you can spot Cockatoo Island, covered in parks and heritage buildings and open for the public to visit. Back on the mainland, it's worth taking the time to walk all around here. There are some beautiful harbour glimpses and cute waterside parks everywhere. Up on Ballast Point is a great view of the city from an old shipping facility. Continuing the industrial theme at Mort Bay Park. At the edge of the park is Belmain Wharf with its free public library. And further around, the old Colgate Palmolive factory, which has been converted to residential space. And then finally, we arrive in Balmain East, the part of Balmain which juts out just across the water from Barangaroo. It's a quiet corner of Balmain, just a stone's throw from the city center. as we are just about to pass underneath the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you again very soon.